Google Dmail or LinkedIn messages. Which channel is better for outbound sales? Of course it's, hey, let's make it fair and look at each of these channels independently, taking into consideration their good and not so good sides. Let's dive in right away. Let's look at cold outreach first. This approach involves sending cold emails to the prospects you have had no prior contact with, aiming to introduce your product or service and establish business relationships. This is a powerful tool for B2B businesses. If done right, it can deliver significant results. So why is cold outreach so good? Cost effectiveness. Cold email is easy to start with and it's insanely affordable. All you need is a new domain that you can buy for less than $2 per year and an email platform to use for warming up your email accounts and sending email campaigns. The price varies depending on your needs, but you can get the tool in the range of prices from $30 per month. Scalability. You can easily grow the number of emails you send by simply adding more email accounts and domains. But don't forget about warming up. Personalization. You can tailor your emails to your target audience's needs, challenges, and goals, making your offer irresistible. Along with advantages often go disadvantages. Spam filters. Many think getting to the spam folder is one of the biggest disadvantages of cold emailing. Yes, it's true. Only if you send mass emails with generic messages to everyone. If your called outreach is done right, spam filters will not be your concern. Hard to stand out. If you're now considering cold email, Hunter is already using it. Prospects inboxes are flooded nowadays, so it's getting harder and harder to catch their attention, increasing the chances of your email to be ignored. Legal restrictions. Some people consider this point as the cold email disadvantage, and this is the only reason I've inserted it into this list. We're talking about anti-spam laws like can spam and GDPR cold email must comply with. But I can assure you, this is pretty manageable and there is nothing special in it. Our society functions by following certain rules. We have the rules we should follow while we drive our cars. We have certain rules of business and laws like can spam, GDPR, are no more than any other rules you need to follow in order to establish business relationships. So there is more hype around it than the state of things actually is. You just need to know these rules and follow them. Now on our radar, LinkedIn outreach. From its title, there is no mystery where this outreach takes place. You find leads on LinkedIn, connect and send messages on LinkedIn, and engage with your prospects through the content on LinkedIn. I won't concentrate on engaging with your audience through creating and posting the content, but I want to stress this out. It's super important and a must have for your LinkedIn strategy. We cover this aspect in other videos on Snow YouTube channel. Here, I'm focusing more on sending LinkedIn messages in order to frame our comparison. It's worth mentioning that LinkedIn outreach includes LinkedIn messages and emails, paid messages available for LinkedIn premium accounts. So why is LinkedIn outreach so cool? Targeted outreach. Besides finding your targeted leads more easily by specifying certain criteria like job title, industry, and so on, you can personalize your messages using profile insights. Email feature. You can send LinkedIn messages only to profiles that accepted your connection request. Emails are a paid feature available for premium accounts, allowing you to send messages to people you are not connected with. This option gives you the opportunity to increase your reach. No spam filters. While sending cold emails, there is a possibility to get to the spam folder. With LinkedIn, your messages get delivered to the inbox. LinkedIn doesn't have the spam folder, but it doesn't mean your messages cannot be marked as spam by the recipients. So make sure you send only relevant offers. While these all are pretty nice, LinkedIn has some significant cons and first one is the one everyone hates the most. Limits. This part is going to be lengthy because I think it's the most painful disadvantage where we're talking about LinkedIn outreach. First of all, to send LinkedIn messages, you need to be connected with a person. Here you meet the first limits. You can send up to 100 connection requests per week or more in case your account is warmed up or you need a premium account to send emails without being connected. And you may think, with a premium, I will go over these limits. In fact, you won't. With the premium feature, you can send 50 cold messages, so to say. Good news is if you get a response, the credits for emails will be returned within 90 days of the send date. But 50 messages are not that many, so you cannot rely much on them. High risk of being ignored. 
Well, email inboxes are overloaded and it's hard to attract your prospect's attention, messages on LinkedIn can be easily ignored, as LinkedIn is a social media and people may not check inbox frequently, unlike email inbox, that people check at least once they start working. Both channels can unlock lots of potential, but at the same time, the limits LinkedIn and cold emailing have can become obstacles on the way of getting more clients and growing your sales. So which channel is better? The answer to this question you will find out in our next video, where we compare these two channels side by side. Like, subscribe, and be the first to know the latest sales and marketing growth hacks. See you!